word IDE, Google Anti-Gravity, is the next generation agentic development platform designed to evolve the traditional IDE into the agent-first era. By combining intelligent automation, context-aware assistance, and seamless integration across the development life cycle, Anti-Gravity empowers developers to move from writing code line by line to orchestrating powerful autonomous agents. This shift transforms how applications are conceived, built, and continuously improved, enabling teams to accelerate innovation while maintaining precision, scalability, and control. Google Anti-Gravity, your phone, your tablet hovering effortlessly in the air, the ultimate dream of sci-fi made real. Right here, right now, courtesy of the tech giant itself. Imagine typing a command and your app starts building itself. Imagine debugging that literally lifts the weight off developers. Imagine code that floats above complexity. Welcome to the world of Google anti-gravity. Now, no, it's not physics-defying tech that makes your phone float for, but it is something that many devs call anti-gravity for coding. Today, I'll break down what Google Anti-Gravity really means, how you can use it, how AI agent IDEs fit in, how apps evolve from scratch to iteration, and yes, the drawbacks nobody talks about. So here's the deal. The term Google Anti-Gravity started floating around when engineers began describing Google's new developer tools as something that removes weight from coding. Think of every heavy part of development, setup, boilerplate code, configs, deployment pipelines, debugging. Google's new AI-powered tools practically erase that weight. It feels like development is in zero gravity. A developer drowning under code, gravity AI tools lifting tasks upward, anti-gravity metaphor. In simple words, anti-gravity equals super light AI-assisted development, not a product name, but a concept devs use to describe these friction-free workflows. Google Anti-Gravity, installation steps. The system requirements are before installing, ensure your system meets the minimum prerequisites. OS, Windows 10 Plus, Mac OS 12 Plus or Linux, Ubuntu 20.04 Plus. RAM, 8 GB minimum, 16 GB recommended. Storage, 4 GB free. Runtime dependencies, Python 3.9 plus Node.js 18 plus Docker, optional for agent sandboxing. Run the installer on Windows or Mac OS, double click the installer. Allow system permissions if prompted. Select installation directory. Choose components, anti-gravity IDE agent, runtime engine, anti-gravity, CLI usability. What can you actually do? Okay, cool concept. But what can you actually do with Google anti-gravity style dev tools? Instant environment setup, auto-generated boilerplate, smart debugging, automated documentation, context-aware code generation, fast deployment scripts, AI agents, IDE, the game changer. Now, let's talk about the real magic behind this anti-gravity feeling. AI agent IDEs. On screen. IDE with agent avatars working like a team. These new IDEs don't just auto-complete code. They behave like autonomous micro-agents inside your editor. Imagine this. One agent handles API design. Another optimizes queries. Another rewrites UI components. Another checks security. Another runs tests continuously. They communicate with each other and with you. Like a mini dev team inside your laptop. This turns a single developer into a full-stack force multiplier. That's why the industry calls this shift Google's anti-gravity era app. Development lifecycle from scratch to 10% to continuous improvement. Let's break down how app development changes under this model. Built from scratch, say you want a fitness tracking app. You describe your features. Agents scaffold the entire architecture, front-end, back-end, database, APIs. Architecture being auto-generated. It's not perfect, BIPO. it's built. 10% improvement. Cycle. This is where the magic happens. AI agents run improvement loops, performance UI polishing, better caching, tighter security, smaller bundle sizes. Every cycle improves the app by around 10%. 
These micro iterations add up insanely fast. Infinite improvement. Loop. You can keep asking, make the onboarding smoother. Reduce load times. Add voice assistant and the system adapts. Drawbacks and concerns. All right, here's the part nobody wants to talk about. AI agents sometimes produce code that works but isn't clean or they optimize something that didn't need optimizing or they introduce silent bugs that human eyes might miss and as developers rely more on anti-gravity coding, juniors may struggle to learn fundamentals. <laughs>